Hmm. Yeah. Yes, level six. Oh, phone's ringing. Hello. Hey, what's up? Nothing much. Hey, did you get your new phone yet? No, not really. I was just on my way, actually. Oh, hey. Have you thought of which phone that you're gonna get yet? No, not really. Oh, man. You should get the LG Xenon. It's the best phone that I've ever had. Okay, thanks, man. I'll go now. Oh, sure, man. No problem. See ya. Yeah, see ya, man. No, dude, seriously, this isn't funny. I really think I have a serious problem. Okay, okay, I'll walk you through it. Okay, so, I don't think I can eat Mexican food anymore, dude. I mean, every time I go to a Mexican restaurant, whenever I get home and I have to go take a... Um, yeah, excuse me, is this where I can find an LG Xenon? Oh, um, uh, LG Xenon. Uh, yeah, we have them. Uh, there's one sitting there on the table. Yeah, just go ahead and grab it. Okay, yeah. Uh, thanks for being a value customer. Okay, bye. Oh, okay. Thanks, man. Okay, so now, as I was saying, whenever I need to go take a shit, something really bad happens. Yeah, dude, I just got the LG Xenon. It's an awesome phone just by looking at the box. It looks so awesome. Yeah, so... I'm going to have to call you back, man. Well, i got to go ahead and take the phone out, plug it in, and then i got to plug in the USB cable, and i got to take everything, like all my pictures, all my music, and all my videos, and i got to transfer it onto the phone. Okay, yeah. Well, thanks for the suggestion, man. Seems like a nice phone. See ya. Okay, time to take you out, plug in your cord, and go ahead and copy all my data. Let's dump in the box here. Ooh. It's a nice phone. Now, where's your USB sync cable? There's no USB cable? Hey everyone, what's up? It's Nick here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and transfer files between your computer and your phone using Bluetooth. So as you can probably tell by the little skit in the beginning of this video, uh, I didn't have such a good experience with this. Well, let me just go ahead and give you guys a little backstory for this. So, I went to the store to go buy my LG Xenon, and I asked the guy at the counter if the, the device came with a USB sync cable, and he said no it didn't. And I already purchased the phone at that time, so a little bad mistake on me. And so yeah, but my old phone, which was an old Sony Ericsson, which I have right here, uh, it had a USB sync cable, so I can go ahead and plug it into my computer to go ahead and sync my files. And once I got my Xenon, I had no idea how I was going to get all my pictures, all my movies, and all my videos that I had on this phone, which were on my computer. I had no idea how to get them to my phone. And so I did some tinkering around, and I finally figured out that you could use Bluetooth to go ahead and sync files between your phone and your computer. And so yeah, so anyway, today I'm going to show you guys how you can sync files between your um, phone and your Bluetooth-enabled computer. So this is going to show how to send files one by one, and it's going to be showing this using a uh, plastic MacBook up back here and an LG Xenon. It'll vary on what devices you have, but the principles should be the same. You can also use this to send uh, files from phone to phone as long as the phone are Bluetooth enabled. And you can also use this to send between computer to computer as long as the computers are Bluetooth enabled. So I'm going to show you how to transfer files between your phone and your computer using Bluetooth. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Okay everyone, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and enable Bluetooth on your mobile device. Now I do apologize for the horrible video quality in this, except my camera doesn't really like to focus in on stuff like this. But I'm going to go ahead and walk you through with some screen annotations here. So the first thing you want to do is enable Bluetooth on your device. So to go ahead and do that, uh, you want to go ahead into the menu, mine is right here, and then you want to scroll down to settings, and then here in settings you should see a no option for Bluetooth. Mine's right there, it says Bluetooth. I don't know if you can read that, but it should be right there. So I'm going to click on that, and then it comes up with a couple options up here. The first option says Bluetooth either on or off. You want to make sure that's slid to on. 
the one says my visibility you want to slide to on to to make sure that you are visible here to search for new devices which will search for devices enabled with bluetooth but i'm going to click cancel and then it has my devices which has the devices you connect to right there is my macbook right there and there right there is a friend of mine's phone and you can also add a new device by clicking new device as well i really apologize if you can't see this and the final one down here is Bluetooth info with your device name, supported SVC, and your primary storage device. So go ahead and make sure all those things are open. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the Mac for the moment. So let's just go ahead and lock this and go onto the Mac's screen. I'll come back to you guys in a few minutes. Okay guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you the steps that you're going to have to follow on your computer to go ahead and do this. Now this will work for some Windows enabled computers, but uh, for right now I'm going to show you how to use this with the Bluetooth feature on your Mac. So all Macs come with Bluetooth built in, so if you have a Mac then you already have Bluetooth. So yeah, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go and go up to the Bluetooth option in the menu bar. Now I apologize for my face being like this and because I'm going to have to show you some stuff on the phone right here. So just bear with me, this is a webcam recording right now. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go up here to the menu bar and find this little icon right here which is for Bluetooth. Go ahead and click on that and it'll bring up this menu right here. There's some options here. There's one that says Bluetooth on, which is clicked, which will turn the Bluetooth on. You want to make sure the Bluetooth's on. If you want to go ahead and turn it off, you can click turn Bluetooth off here. You want to make sure discoverable is checkmarked as well so that each device can go ahead and discover it. So now you have the option for send file or browse device, which will happen for any other phone. So I have two devices down here. I have my phone and a friend of mine's phone. And as you notice, if we scroll over here, we can send a file or we can browse the device. So if we want to go ahead and set up a device, you go to set up Bluetooth device, which will bring up this window right here, and it will search for available devices. Then you can go ahead and click continue and follow the on-screen instructions that are on the screen and on-screen instructions that are on your phone as well. And you can follow those to go ahead and set up your Bluetooth options, but I'm not going to do that because I already have mine set up. So up here, you can also go ahead and open Bluetooth preferences to go ahead and open up the preferences in the system preference pane. So let me just uh, wait for that to load up here. So this is what it is. So it has a couple different options here. It says my uh, phone is not connected. It's a mobile phone, dialed networking, and it has a bunch of different options over here, which you can go ahead and change inside of the Bluetooth options right here, which are also accessible in the menu up here. So now let's say I want to go ahead and send a file to my phone. So let's just say I want to make a quick text document. So uh, no, let's, let's take a picture. So I'll take myself a screenshot. So I'll hold down Command, Shift, and 3, which takes a screenshot of my screen. And so here is the screenshot up here. So I want to go ahead and send this screenshot here to my phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the little Bluetooth menu, and I'm going to go to Nick's phone, and I'm going to click Send File. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the desktop and then I'm going to choose my screenshot right here. Go ahead and click on that and it will say connecting to Nick's phone and then there should be a little thing coming up on the phone that says accept coming accept connection request from Nick Wilt's MacBook. So as you see here, not sure how well you can see that, but I'm going to go ahead and click on yes onto that function right there and then it will send the file. So once the file is sent it will have view set as wallpaper or set as picture ID. So I'm going to click on view, and as you notice, let me just build the phone this way. It has a full screenshot that I took right there. And so now let's say I want to go ahead and send another file to my computer from my phone. So I'm going to go into the pictures menu on my phone, and let's say I want to send this picture of some scenery that I took, which is that right there. So to go ahead and send it, you want to go up to the uh, mess to wherever you send messages to. So I'm going to click on this little message thing, and here it'll send as send as message, send as Bluetooth, or send to HP Snapfish, which I don't have. So I'm going to click send Bluetooth, and then here it will have pick which devices that you want to send it to. So I'm going to click my phone. I mean, not my phone, my computer. And then, as you notice, this should come up on the computer. Either accept or decline. So I'm going to click accept and it should send the file to my computer and it should show up in your downloads folder by the way so it has a little thing up here as well so it should come up into the downloads folder you can click show if you want to but just to show you we go down to downloads and as you notice here it is right here so if I go ahead and open that up 
as you notice, that is the picture that was on my phone, and I sent it via Bluetooth. Now, this doesn't only work with pictures. You can do this with pictures, videos, ringtones, and soundtracks, and much, much more stuff. And so, yeah, so that's how to go ahead and do it. That's how I figured it out. Pretty simple, pretty easy, but it took me a while to figure it out because, you know, I never really used Bluetooth before. So, yeah, so anyway, that is how to go ahead and sync your phone and your computer between Bluetooth. So you can go ahead and send files without a USB cable. So, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.